What's going on, Terror Squad? We are back in the house with some more Spartacus Season 2, Episode 5 is here today. Why am I talking like this? Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning back in. Hopefully, you're watching this intro and not click on the link yet because I have something to say. Of course, we got to do a review of what happened last time a little bit. Of a recap of episode four, man. Episode four was a good episode. Really enjoyed it. They are kind of trying to put Elithia in that villain seat, and it's kind of like a um, a, a parallel to be drawn here of how Lucretia used to treat her, and now she's in the driver's seat of she is now the one with the power. But I think Lucretia has something planned. I don't know what it is, but she see there's a secret. I don't think she's genuinely trying to help Elithia. I think she does remember stuff. And I really do think that she's kind of playing her hand carefully because she's not in the most advantageous position. And I think because to me, she will always be the smarter of the two. She's having a bit of an amnesia right now, but I, she'll always be the smarter of the two. In my opinion, in some ways, Lucretia was smarter than um, Batiatis. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm saying Batiatis. I, I can never remember his actual name. I know Batiatis is the name of the house. It's their last name, right? Um, but you guys know who I'm talking about, her husband. I can never remember his name. Um... I remember that his father's name was Titus, but I can't remember his name. And they've said it so much in the show, but I just love to call him Batiatus, <laughs> you know? Um, so, yes, Crixus has been, was captured and, you know, he was laying there. I thought he was, some one of them was going to die, at least somebody that we know. But it shows, you know, one of the, the ones that were captured that we didn't know and Spartacus was was out there fighting Romans who was like the last of them and then Argon came in at the last minute to kind of rescue them so that was pretty cool so Elithia is planning to screw over her own husband Glavid now I'm feeling sorry for Glavid do I you know what I'm saying like as I was saying in the review I feel like I need to cheer for him now because because of what's happening to him he doesn't deserve that you get what I'm saying? He doesn't deserve any of it. Spartacus may have caused all of this. You know what I'm saying? Spartacus may have caused all this trouble. And it's because he brought Spartacus into the picture. While all of this is going on. Everything can kind of. The whole story can be blamed on Glaber. But at the same time. He doesn't deserve any. The, the slights that they be giving him. He doesn't deserve any of it. Because all he did was. Um basically the guy that they 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 basically chartered to help them kind of betrayed them he went to get the dude and then decided not to kill the dude and to sell him to Batiatis or give him to the Batiatis house and now all of this stuff is happening he's not direct he didn't do anything wrong per se you get what I'm saying um it's just that Spartacus is the main character we're we're cheering for him. We want to see them, see them not be treated like slaves. Like, we will never cheer for slavery. Who does that? Crazy people. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, this whole um, society of, you know, people in power, slavery, and slavery seems so normal to these people. It's just, it just goes to show you how things happen in this world. But anyways, we're going to jump in to some Spartacus. Let's do this. Season 2, Episode 5. I will see you guys for the review. Alright, Spartacus. Episode 5 and 6 of Season 2, man. Great stuff. Got Gannicus coming back into the picture, man. Episode 5 is one of those one of those episodes that you're just like 
oh my god what a time to be alive <laughs> you know to be able to watch these kind of entertainment on television i wasn't there for the initial but i am here now binge watching this watching episode or two every now and then and i'm enjoying it very much so and i hope you guys are i know you guys are enjoying it i don't have to ask that but anyways man let's reach out and see what's happening in this in, in episodes five and six want to talk about episode six most of all because episode five was basically just spartacus going to rescue um crixus animaeus um and uh you know i can't remember his name is it no it's not that I mean, is it I don't remember his name, but, <laughs> you know, he died. Um, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I knew that somehow, the, you know, they had a better chance of winning because they were actually gladiators. This is not a um, a Salonius situation. You know what I'm saying? This is a champion coming out here. Mind you, they're handcuffed, but still, I still give them a, a good chance of getting out of it. I just didn't know how they were going to get out, get out of it. They showed that first, but then we saw what led up to it. Cause I'm like, does, wouldn't Spartacus them know about this? Would they go to try and save them? Are they going to really kill off Crixus and Animaeus in this episode? So it went on to show the flashback of a day before to show how Spartacus come to learn of this. They met this guy, um, at this abandoned place that they came upon and he's had a he's a disgruntled roman you know that got screwed you know screwed over um i think they killed his wife and children too like you know what i'm saying and he was basically kind of cast out and he's been waiting for a blessing from the gods and spartacus happened to be that blessing so it's just awesome to see how they structured the episode of them getting to the arena, finding out about it, just taking... I, I was worried for a little bit. I was like, are you guys going to wait until Crixus get killed <laughs> to to burn this place down or whatever? Are they trying to make the place fall through and just burn it from the bottom, you know, and destroy the support so the arena will fall through? So, yeah, so Animaeus went off. Of course, as we, I saw Gannicus in the beginning, I was like, what? what are you serious let's go but anyways um yeah man pretty cool stuff seeing ganicus come back we learned about ganicus from from the um from the prequel and ever since i finished watching the prequel you heard me say that i wonder if ganicus is going to show up in season two because he didn't die we know he got his freedom from batiatus and um quintus batiatus right so we know he got his freedom so he was out there. So I was hoping that they bring back his character because I liked his character very much from the prequel. So nothing that Lucretia is saying is true. She's just pulling shit out of her ass to keep herself relevant. You know what I'm saying? And now that Asher doesn't really is not following her orders anymore. So he's he figured out a way to get um, Glaber's favor for himself which is what asher does if one person is not listening to him he just seeks another person that could vouch for him so he can keep himself alive he's a snake he's a cockroach you just can't get rid of you know so he got favor with glabber so now he got glabber's ear so he went off on lucretia ended up raping her this dude i i I want him to die so much <laughs> to the point it, it, it's to the point right now where I mean I know I cheered for him a little bit because he's a he's a gladiator let's let's just get that out of it he's a gladiator the, the Roman soldiers are trash okay compared to the gladiators they are trash they basically the only way they could win against the gladiators is not gonna be 1v1 it's always gonna be you know them being a crowd against that's the only way they can win is for them to double triple quadruple team on these guys because they know how to they practice how to fight 
um, against multiple opponents. If you remember back in season one when Spartacus went first time in the arena, how he destroyed those four dudes. It was four against one. So, and that's even before he got former training. You know, there are multiple times where he was in the ring fighting against multiple opponents. So he knows how to do this. So the Roman soldiers, I'm surprised that they're not a little bit more skilled with their sword, but it is what it is. It's a, you know, but yeah, man. So the, the, um, the situation with Crixus and Navia is totally understandable. And I'm glad that she's kind of come to her senses and, and like, listen, I need you to teach me how to fight because these men, cause that's what she was thinking about all the people that raped her and all this other stuff that she went through throughout all that time that since you know, she was basically was passed around and stuff like that. All that stuff came to memory. And that's very, that's PTSD right there. And I totally understand where she's coming from. It's hard to lay with Crixus. It's hard to lay with the one you love after stuff like that. You know, it's a traumatic experience because you might, you, you're thinking, you know, he's one of them, you know? So I was happy to see that things changed over time and she's decided that, listen, I don't want our bond to break, but I need you to teach me how to not let another man lay his hand on me like that again. So that was pretty cool. Gannicus versus Spartacus, great fight. I never suspected Gannicus to do the, to, to be the one that stole the map. He's not that kind of guy. You get what I'm saying? He's more of a loner. You know what I'm saying? We know he can fight, but he's more of a loner and he's he's honorable. So I I would have never expected them to um the only thing is I never expected them to be. I suspected the girl cuz they kept showing her and I'm like, "Why are they showing her?" But it ended up that she is the one that stole the map. So that was pretty cool. So yeah, man, episodes five and six were they were very well done episodes. Very well done episode. They have unleashed the monster that is Glaber with the death of Elithia's father. So Yeah. <laughs> the monster has arrived. He's gonna prove to be a, in my opinion, they've they've built him up to be the villain of the season. Took him six episodes to get there, but to see where he's coming from, from his reintroduction into the story from in, from the beginning of season two, um, and seeing where he is now, they've created a monster, and the buildup was epic, and now we're here to see Glaber and Asher become the two, probably the most two hated characters in the show right now and to see them working together this is gonna be crazy asher went and got his is his murder crew or whatever you want to call them i don't know if they were former gladiators or you know but they know how to fight they know how to bring the carnage so i'm expecting that i never expected glaber to go destroy the house off I, I don't even know what house it is <laughs> but you you sepia's brother um sepius i think his name is sepius right so so yeah i never expected that that was surprising but anyways yeah man that was pretty cool thank you guys so much for tuning in as always make sure you hit that like button make sure you leave a comment these two episodes were epic you know it i know it subscribe if you're new and i will catch you guys next time